Hello everybody and welcome back to another astrophotography video. It has been quite a while since I've said that, about a month exactly um, in time. And the reason being that I haven't been so active on YouTube is because of the weather situation. Now, obviously I got a new mount. If you guys didn't see my YouTube post or my Instagram post, I'll post my Instagram in the description below so you guys can go follow that and I'll start doing some daily updates on my astrophotography on there. Back to what I was saying, it's been very cloudy and very rainy for the past uh, month. And now it is finally five days of clear skies and then clouds and rain again. When I first bought this mount, uh, obviously I believe that it was the first night that I actually bought it, um, that I actually got my quote unquote first light using the um, mount. And basically what a first light is on a astrophotography mount is it's basically your first photo using that mount. Now I got the Bowden Cigar Galaxy, which I'll put on screen right here, but I genuinely don't like it. I didn't get a lot of exposure time because I lost tracking in the middle of the night um, for whatever reason. So I only got around 45 minutes of exposure time, but now uh, I'm back uh, again for another first light. Uh, this is probably the one that I'm going to call my first light using this mount. So hopefully that goes great. Now the target that I'm going after tonight, uh, honestly, I have no idea um, because one, there's tons of targets during summer and two, uh, the moon's out up there. So uh, I'll, I have to be using filters and no galaxies. Uh, unfortunately, I would love to go after a galaxy, but can't because the moon is out for most of the night and I'd rather be taking a photo of something that's rising in the east right now so I can get a whole night of exposure time. All right, so let's talk about my new mount over here. Um, it is the Explore Scientific iExos 102. Now this mount has a um, motor system called the PMC-8, which um, I believe Explore Scientific uses a lot of. Lots of their mounts have the PMC-8 system in it. Um, so far, I've had no problems tracking and stuff like that. It was cloudy yesterday and the day before that, so I decided to, instead of using their, their own Explore Stars app on the App Store or Android, um, I decided to finally figure out how to control my mount using my Raspberry Pi. And for that, I used KSTARS and ECOS. Now, ECOS is an application inside of KSTARS that basically runs your camera drivers, your uh, mount drivers, your autofocus drivers, focus wheels, like anything like that. Now, of course, you don't have to have Astroberry to install. Um, there's tons of different ways to install KSTARS on your uh, Raspberry Pi, just using the command line or GitHub and stuff like that. The sun is setting now, uh, the bugs are out, and it's finally that time of year again where I have to douse myself in bug spray because the mosquitoes here are horrible. Now we just wait a little bit for the sun to set and uh, we should be able to start tracking the night sky. All right, so I have decided on a target and that target is IC5070, also known as the Pelican Nebula. Now um, I had some troubles using the polar alignment feature um, by polar aligning to Polaris but I polar aligned using Vega and Deneb. And uh, now I have a target that rises all night tonight. And uh, hopefully uh, I can get some good exposures on it, uh, taking photos right now. So I'll update you guys in the morning when I uh, go and uh, clean up. My burritos are almost done. All right, so it's the next morning and last night's imaging session went all right. I had to continue waking up every 30 minutes um, and recentering the target because for whatever reason um, when I was it was tracking the target well let's say that it was this is the RA I believe it's called it was tracking the, it well with earth rotation but it decided to kind of like start drifting on the top so I had to keep realigning every now and then so I believe that a guide scope is probably my next purchase in terms of astrophotography um, so yeah, I'm stacking the photos right now. I got around 250 at ISO 1600, 30 second exposures. So everything's cleaned up. Uh, tonight says it's also supposed to be clear. So hopefully if my photo doesn't turn out great, I can go after the same target, same spot and uh, get some more exposures on that. So last night sleep obviously wasn't on the forecast. 
uh, tonight. Hopefully I can get a little bit of sleep. Uh, I'm still not sure why it was drifting. Um, I'll have to look it up, but either I didn't tighten the clutch enough or it was just getting confused and moving, but everything's good to go now. So that's good. Enough talk. Here's my final image. Until next time, clear skies. Thank you.